in this video now and I've realised I didn't actually film a proper intro for the video. So hello and welcome back. So last weekend I decided to film a what I eat in a weekend. So it's essentially the same as a what I eat in a day but across the full weekend. So I did Friday night through to Sunday night. I know that a lot of people, myself included, <laughs> tend to like struggle at weekends to stick to their calories. Obviously you're out of routine, there's more temptation, you know, a lot of people go out for food, get takeaways, and um, so it can be quite hard, especially if you're trying to lose weight, to like actually stay on track. So I thought I would just show like my sort of average weekend of eating. I've got a few like lower calorie alternatives and like fake away recipes and stuff in the video so I'm hoping that is going to be quite helpful and that you're going to kind of get some ideas that you might want to try out yourself. I also just wanted to say before the video starts that I'm not saying that you have to track your calories every single weekend. I have weekends where I have takeaways like I don't track you know like it it's completely normal and I'm not saying that you can't do that. This is literally just to give people who do want to stay on track some ideas. Um, like I said, it's completely fine to have a takeaway if you want to have a takeaway. One like high calorie meal or one sort of like day where you go over your calories isn't gonna affect your progress that much. Um, so yeah, like I say, this is just to give people ideas. Um, I'm all about balance, so if you want to order a Domino's, then order a Domino's. But if your goal is weight loss, just make sure that it's not happening too often. So I've decided to start this video on a Friday night. I was just going to do like a full day Saturday, full day Sunday. But I know for a lot of people the weekend sort of starts on a Friday night. So I thought I would include it. For me, Friday night has always been pizza night. You cannot beat a pizza to start off the weekend. So I've got two lower calorie alternatives that I have. I mean, they're still pizzas, but they're just pretty low calorie compared to most pizzas. I've had to get rid of the boxes because they wouldn't fit in the freezer in the boxes. Insert pictures of what they look like in their packaging so that they're easier to find in the supermarkets. This one here is Tasco's own brand. It's chicken and bacon and it's got like a kind of creamy cheese sauce on it. Um, I really, really like these to be fair. And for the whole pizza, it's roughly about 750 calories, which isn't too bad. The second option is this one. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. Um, this is the Pizza Express one. So this is the chicken and red pepper. I think it's called like Polo Adastra or something like that. Um, and I really like these. So for this whole pizza, it's only 608 calories. So yeah, those are my two go-tos that I normally have for pizza. I'm gonna have the Pizza Express chicken and red pepper one tonight. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's ready. Obviously not quite a Domino's, but it does the job. Um, and yeah, they do taste really nice to be fair. And for 600 calories, you can't really go wrong. So if you've watched my other What Eat In A Day video, you'll know that I normally don't have my breakfast till like 10, 11 o'clock. But on the weekend, I always try and push that back even further. So I normally don't eat until like 11, 12 o'clock on the weekend, purely because my evening meal tends to be higher calorie than it is during the week. So I like to kind of try and save calories for that, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's about 12 o'clock now. I had a bit of a lie in this morning had my usual water, peppermint tea and multivitamin and now we've just been on a nice big walk. Just got back, so yeah, now I'm gonna make my breakfast. Okay, so once it's all nice and thick, I usually leave it just for a minute or two to cool off and then I add my protein powder. So as always, I use the My Protein stuff. This is chocolate peanut butter flavor, which is my favorite flavor to have in oats. I just mixed one scoop of that in there. Then this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so today is Saturday the 25th of July. 
which means that gyms in the UK can finally reopen. Well, in England anyways. So we've come for a little gym session and I am honestly so excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited to go to the gym before. But I am actually like, I cannot wait. There it is. I do kind of want to film my first session back to put it in this video but I feel like obviously like it's everyone's first session back today and I just don't really feel like it's the right time if that makes sense so I'm gonna leave my camera in the car and yeah I'll let you know what I do when I come up. and that's the first session back done and dusted I'm so shiny and sweaty but it was actually a pretty good session um i did full body i just thought it'd be best to sort of ease myself in with full body before going back into like a proper split my plan was to do sumo deadlifts hip thrusts leg press chest press shoulder press and lap pull down but it was quite busy so i wasn't able to do everything that i wanted to so i just kind of had to go on whatever was free so i did leg press lap pull down hamstring curl shoulder press chest press and chest flies and yeah like i was actually quite happy with like the weights that i could manage not gone down too much since before lockdown which i was kind of worried about um obviously i have still lost a little bit of strength but it's not as bad as i thought i had such a good session um but i am not looking forward to how sore i'm gonna be tomorrow it is gonna be killer so now we're on our way home to have some lunch okay back from the gym now and so i'm gonna make my lunch i've decided to go for like a low calorie full english type thing so four chicken sausages two bacon medallions two scrambled eggs and some beans I did want to have hash browns with this today, but they're not going to fit in my calories, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to do without. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So this is what I'm having. The sausages, the bacon, the eggs and the beans. It's like 10 past 3 now. So I probably won't have anything else after this before I have tea. So I will be back when I'm making my tea. So for tea tonight, I'm gonna attempt to make a fake away. So essentially a low calorie takeaway. Our favorite takeaway to get is Chinese. So that's what we're gonna go for. Whenever I get a Chinese, every single time I get the crispy shredded chicken and chili sauce. And I've managed to find a recipe online for a 450 calorie version. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to make tonight. I've never made it before, so I've got no idea what it's like. Obviously, the pictures look good, and I'm hoping it's gonna be just as good as a Chinese. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna have it with fried rice, and I've also brought, bought some prawn crackers as well. So yeah. I'll show you the whole process, show you exactly how to make it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that it's going to turn out really good. I'm going to make this for two people. So if you want to just make it for yourself, then just half the quantities of everything.
and this is the finished product. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look exactly like a Chinese, but it looks pretty good. The chicken hasn't quite gone crispy in the oven, um, which isn't ideal, but I'm sure it'll still be nice. So we've got the chicken and the rice, and then I also got some prawn crackers to go with it. These are 200 calories per bag, so we're gonna have a bag each. Obviously, that does add quite a lot of calories to the meal, so if you do want it lower, you could just have half a bag or just not have any prawn crackers at all. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it's gonna be as nice as it smells, and I'll let you know how it is. So we'll do a quick taste test and see what it's like. Mmm. Okay, that's actually really nice. Oh, it's quite spicy as well. Not quite the same as the Chinese, I'm not gonna lie, but for a fraction of the calories, like, I mean, you cannot go wrong. Pretty nice, I'll probably give it like a seven out of 10. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Yeah, I am so full after that, but I, I really enjoyed it to be fair. Like I said before, it's not quite the same as what you get from the Chinese, but obviously that's to be expected. It's a fraction of the calories. So yeah, I think it is a really good alternative. It's just a little bit spicy. <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely make it again, so big thumbs up. So this is what I'm having for pudding tonight. It's like a little Biscoff ice cream sundae. So basically all that's in it is half a tub of Halo Top. I used the salted caramel flavour and then I crumbled a fibre one brownie over the top. And then I put a tablespoon of crunchy Biscoff spread in the microwave and melted it a little bit for 30 seconds and drizzled that over the top. Um, I literally have this every single weekend. It is amazing. So we've just come out for a nice long walk. Um, I had my breakfast before I came out, but I just had oats and the peanut butter protein powder that I had yesterday. So I didn't think there was much point filming it because you saw how I made it and stuff yesterday. So yeah, we've come out on quite a big walk today because we're not doing a workout. So it's trying to get some extra steps in. Um, I planned today as a rest day because I thought I was going to be really sore from my first session back yesterday. But I'm actually not too bad. And like my chest like here is pretty sore. But other than that, I'm fine, which I'm quite surprised. I was expecting my hamstrings to be in bits, but I'm actually fine. So I'm really excited to get back into the gym now and just get into like a proper routine. I cannot wait. Hey, lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> This is today's lunch. So we've got a bagel thin, two scrambled eggs, and two slices of smoked salmon. I absolutely love smoked salmon. It is one of my favorites. So I'm a little bit low on protein today. So I'm gonna make sure that my snack is really, really high in protein. So this is what I've decided to go for. So I've got one of the Skier light and free raspberry yogurts. 80 calories and 14 grams of protein per pot. And I'm also gonna have a scoop of the My Protein Love Hearts Clearway. I absolutely love that Love Hearts stuff. Um, they released it a couple of, couple of months ago now, maybe. And it is honestly the best protein shake I have ever had. It tastes exactly like the Love Heart Sweets. Like honestly, it is so good. It's so easy to drink. And it's like 90 calories in 20 grams of protein per scoop. You literally, you just mix it with water and it kind of turns into like a juice type thing. But yeah, it is so, so good. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have a discount code for my protein. So it's LC Fitness and it'll get you 37% off. I'll leave a link to the Love Hearts protein below. So with it being a Sunday, I was gonna make like a low calorie version of a roast or like a pie or something, but I'm really, really not feeling that today. 
So I've decided to make pasta bake. This is actually one of my favourite things to have at the weekend. Um, I do have it quite a lot and whenever I make it and post it on my Instagram story I always get someone messaging me asking how I made it or like how many calories are in it or whatever. So I'm going to make that today. It's really basic, really simple. I think out of everything that I've made over this weekend, this one is going to be the highest calorie. But there are ways that you can bring the calories down that I'll mention. That's pretty much everything done. All you need to do now is pop it in the oven. I normally go for like 170, 180 and I just kind of pop it in there until the cheese is melted to be fair and like 20, 30 minutes. So yeah, I'm going to pop it in now and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so like I mentioned before, um, this meal is the highest calorie meal that I've had in this video. So for the quantities that I use, it's 844 calories per serving. For me, I'm able to fit that into my calories, but obviously if you're on lower calories than me, you might struggle. Some of the things that you could do to like reduce the calories would obviously be reduce the amount of pasta that's in there. So I I allowed for 75 grams per person you could take it down to 70 65 60 kind of whatever would suit you and obviously if you are reducing the amount of pasta you probably wouldn't need as much soup either so that would be kind of bring the calories down you could also have less chorizo so like I mentioned I had eight like little slices of chorizo per person you could bring it down to six or four and yeah just kind of bring the calories down and if you did those things it would probably bring it down to like six seven so it's not a massive difference but it would be a lot easier for someone on lower calories to fit that in look at that cheese so this is what it looks like when it's done um, as you can see it is quite a generous helping and um, it's gonna fill me up and yeah this is literally one of my favorite meals ever like I could eat this every single day i absolutely love it it smells really really nice and i cannot wait to tuck it so i'm gonna finish off the day with one of these cadbury white chocolate oreo bars i saw these in asda the other day and i just had to buy them and oh my god they are so nice and i think they're all like 200 calories per bar as well so they're not too bad just as a little treat to finish off the day so yeah that is the last thing I am going to show you for the weekend of eating. I hope you found it helpful and I hope there was something in here that you fancy making yourself. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.